What's up, YouTube, Facebook, and everyone else, Instagram, Tweet, whatever else is on there. <laughs> Here we are, DC Autotronics in Southern California. Hey, guys, want to give you guys another update on the GTI that we formerly called the SPL vehicle. As you can see, we did a completely different design. Um, we want to make it more of a daily driver and, you know, for you nuts out there to make it nutty. Here's the enclosure, guys. Let me see if I can give you guys see inside. As you can see, we installed some braces. Um, the, our design called for them. These are one and a half, one, a little over one and a quarter, I believe, dowels. Um, we just wanted to go with the stronger. <sighs> you know, these are your, this is your typical dowel here, guys. Let me give you a shot out. This is a dowel of a one inch, and down here is a one and a quarter. And you can see, totally see the difference down there on the size. So anyway, uh, really quick breakdown. Boxes for two, three of our TNT series. Let me get back up here. Yeah, these are dual voice coil, rated at uh, 1200 max, 600, 600 minimum. We've used these before, you guys, um, but the GTI only had enough room for three. So basically what we've done is we've done a three baffle part here, as you can see in the top there. We had to redo, I don't say want to redo, we had to add a couple of baffles there to strengthen it up. Also, the port's called to be 10 inches deep. As you can see at the bottom, we've got two four-inch ports. At any rate, um, again, we're going to run three of our TNT series. Um, we're still going to be using, again, the 150.1. Really quick, though, you guys out there that own Volkswagens or any type of little car like this, we found that the power is kind of crappy. So what we've done is we've installed a kinetic battery, which is 1800. Basically, what this is going to do is this is a high-powered battery strictly for car audio. Um, I don't want to say strictly for car audio, but we use it strictly for car audio. Um, we just need something that's going to hold a tremendous amount of power only because these cars lack it. We're going to try not to use an upgraded vault, uh, alternator, so stay tuned for that. We will let you know most definitely if we had to upgrade the alternator. Um, we're going to see if we can stay around 12 to 12, 4 point, 12 point volts. Um, you never, ever, ever want a system to go down be below 12 volts, especially American base. Um, our American base amplifiers do not like uh, to run down 12 volts. You will damage parts, you will damage the amps, and you will damage anything else. So again, these amplifiers are power hungry. We need to stay at 12 volts. Is it a big deal? Yes and no. It can be when you upgrade. We are running again to 350.4, which is going to be putting out over 1,300. And the VFL 1.1 is going to put out about 1,600. Now, what that means is that means at any volume, at high volume, we're going to be putting out the maximum output, which is 1,600 plus 1,300 is roughly 2,900 RMS. Um, for any daily driver, that's way too much power. I don't care what anybody says. You can call me. I will show you the specs. We will give you all the facts behind that. There's no car out there that runs factory unless it's a diesel with two batteries to give you 24 volts. Um, so whatever audio shop or whatever clown out there tells you that you can run over 2,000 RMS on a stock car, um, we beg to differ. Um, we can, we've proven it here, and that's what we do. So at any rate, a Kinetic 1800, this is a very powerful amplifier. For those of you that do know about batteries, you know this is a monster amplifier. It's not inexpensive. It's fairly expensive. It, this is retails for about $460. Um, let us know if any of you all need some. We can get pretty good prices. I'm not sure if we can beat other clients because, again, um, we're not a kinetic <coughs> seller here or a vendor. So anyway, um, just want to give you guys a head up on that. So here's the case that we built. We just built a simple case. You're not going to see this amplifier. It's going to be below the, uh, the rack here and whatnot. <clears throat> but you will see the voltage reader. We do have voltage meters for these. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. Um, we're kind of interested to see what this is going to sound like. Again, the GTI only had enough room with its stock position. Basically, that means without modifying the seats, without removing anything, this is what we came up with to use to Monster 10s, basically, to upgrade. We went from a T, from an XD series to a TNT series. Um, and these are just amazing. These give you some low, low hitting bass. 
Um, for those of you that are J Audio fans or Kicker fans, Kicker 7s, these will do more above and beyond. It's not as quite as compatible to a W7, um, but it's pretty damn close. Um, of course, we have other woofers that can put the JL Audio W7 to shame, but that's not what we're doing. We, what we want to do is we want to show you guys out there that you don't need to spend a buttload of money to sound amazing. Um, the reason we mentioned the kickers, um, the LS7s, the HDRs, the Orions, um, those are overpriced. So stay tuned. We should have this car together in a few hours. Maybe we can uh, shoot a video and go from there. If you guys have any questions, give us a call, 760-715-2404, or email us at dc.autotronics at gmail.com, or you guys can even Instagram us. I believe we have one. Is that correct? Yes, we do. We do have an Instagram. Okay, guys, stay tuned.